All right, so if you've never modded a Swiss Army knife before, you've probably gone online if you've been curious and you look at it and it just seems really complicated. So the purpose of this video is if you've never modded before, I'm gonna make it really, really easy for you. And the, the thing is you're gonna be going from basically a larger knife to a smaller knife. So what you wanna do, this is not going to cost you a ton of money. And it's just gonna cost you some time really. and potentially some frustration. But to get into modding, you, you just want to mess around. So keep your expectations low and get yourself a, you know, a four layer, like a, an explorer or like a ranger or a champ. Champ would be sweet if you could find one relatively inexpensively. And then all you're going to do is once that thing shows up in your mailbox, you're going to run this knife under hot water, just tap water. Then you're going to Take your scale tools out and ideally get something underneath there and slowly pop the scales off. Do it slow so you don't wreck them. And then what's going to happen is you're going to have your knife. And then all you really need is a power drill. And the drill bit size you want is basically less than 2.2 millimeters because this pin on the end is a 2.5 and these are 2.2. So here in the United States, I think you can buy like a, a 2.1 millimeter and just get the one that can cut through brass and drill these out. You know, just go slow. If you have a little punch or if you can grind this down a little bit with like a Dremel, so there's like a little divot so your, your drill bit isn't dancing all over the place, just drill that out and you know, if you got a sander or file, file it down so it's smooth, and then you'll see the pin in the hole. And then all you really need to do, if you didn't screw it up too badly, just get like a, well, typically you want a bigger screwdriver. I actually like to use this, this tool. You just work it underneath and you pop your liners off. And then just take pictures of it, each liner, as you do it on your phone so you know what goes with what, because if you've never done it before, it's a little confusing. And then you're gonna have your pins at the end and you just wanna keep them. Don't worry about it. So again, we're going from a bigger knife to a smaller knife, so just take off the stuff you don't want, assemble it the way you want it. And then the good news is, don't get all hung up on the the bushings. The, the, like, the simplest way to do it Literally use the, the existing bushings on the back, the side you didn't drill. Start there, you know, put layer on top of layer. Once you're done, there should be brass sticking out. You want to cut it so it doesn't stick up too much. And then just take a hammer, you know, ball peen hammer, you know, it's got the little round thing on the end, and just slowly work that piece of brass just like that. Don't even bother with the bushings. Don't frustrate yourself with that. And then, yeah, your scales aren't gonna pop on. You're gonna have to glue them, but who cares? It's a great way to just get into it. And it's like the starter kit and it's fun. And then the next one you do, cause you will, um, maybe you'll try doing the bushings and maybe you'll add more layers. Maybe you'll start messing with, um, you know, different combinations, but you just gotta start somewhere. So I think that's really your best bet. Um, to go from the bigger to the smaller and don't worry about your, your stupid bushings. If you screw it up, whatever. Get yourself two knives. <laughs> um, but it's a lot of fun if you want to try it. So don't be intimidated is my point. Anyway, probably do more of these at some point. Um, I was just thinking about that today. So hope you enjoyed that one.